Hi Juanitas and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a little get ready with me, chit chat with me. I'm talking about everything and anything and doing my makeup. Like as you can see, it's very basic, very like minimal, um, but it makes you look like you're ready to conquer today. Even if it's like very little makeup and don't mind my crazy lashes, like I'm letting them fall out so I can get a new set after I let my eyelashes rest for a little bit. But if you are down for some chatty, Ness and some talking about everything and anything mom life work life everything then stay tuned let's get this makeup started <sighs> all right ladies so let's get to it so i'm just gonna do like a very basic like quick look because i don't have time and i'm honestly like not doing anything major today i'm actually vlogging for you guys as well but i wanted to I have to get my makeup done anyway or like do at least a little glam so I don't look this pale for the vlog and like the errands I need to run today. So I decided to vlog it, to record it and chit chat with you guys. And if you guys hear that little noise in the background, homegirl Juanita is scratching the door. Even though she just came from the outside, she wants me to open the door again, but like she doesn't even go outside. So first things first, I'm going to hydrate my face and I've been using the e.l.f. moisturizer. I actually really, 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 really like it. I've even, ooh, I even told Peter that he should be using it too because I feel like right now because it's so windy, like his face is so dry. So I've been telling him, grab some of my moisturizer. We need to go get you one too because we can't have a crusty looking husband, right ladies? So what is up what is new with you guys i feel like i literally took off this week from post i'm so thirsty hold on from uh filming and actually i didn't post a video this week mm. because well let's rewind so i i generally like to plan out my weeks like for content and whatever i gotta do running errands whatever you know and last week i didn't um plan anything i didn't even open my planner because it was my last week on maternity leave and i'm going in with some sunscreen this is from mexico um i really like it i'm almost out and i think they discontinued it as well so i need to find a good sunscreen so i didn't plan my last week um the last week because it was my last week as my, on maternity leave and honestly i just wanted to enjoy like i didn't want to like put so much on my plate because it was like the last week that i can just like relax and just worry about my baby and my house and nothing else and then this past week i didn't plan anything either because it was going to be my first week back at work and i didn't know how that was going to be being a um first time mom working from home after six months being off of work so i knew that was going to be like an adjustment and it still is because let me tell you it's it's been rough in the sense that um i'm adjusting to now like getting up at like well before i start at 7 a.m so i wake up like at 6 30 i have to i've been kind of trying to get on a routine where um, if the baby okay, and let me tell you guys my baby girl had been sleeping amazing in her uh, Crib all through the night not waking up to eat nothing 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 amazing the week prior And I was like, okay, she's getting used to it. like it's gonna be easier for me the first week of work No, the whole first week of work She slept in bed with me because she kept crying at night. I don't know if she sensed me being stressed or I don't I don't know what it was but the whole week she slept in bed with me and I, and I was just like exhausted every day after work because when I was waking up earlier now um, the baby was not sleeping good at night and then I would bring her to bed and then it's like once if I have her here like I'm not completely asleep because she either wants to be on the boob or she's like moving or it's just me thinking of like I'm gonna squish her or something even though like I'm not gonna move at all because I know she's there but it's just like you thinking as a mom you know and then also like i just didn't want to plan out anything because i wanted to see how it was going to go first because i just feel like like i don't know like i, I feel like it's just going to be so hard because i i didn't want to go back to work honestly like i feel like that's why it was hard because i did not want to go back to work um 
I have per my job like there's this agreement that I have to sign that because I got the 12 weeks paid that once I'm back I have to work those 12 weeks like to compensate what they paid me when I was off even though like half the time I was um, off without being paid because I chose to take the additional three months <sighs> which is a whole other story working moms you would understand um, but yeah so I forcefully have to go back to work and work those 12 weeks even if I would have wanted to like quit my job so I wouldn't have to go back I still have to work and right now I just put on the morphe equalizer um, it helps like make your skin like really smooth i'm not even gonna wear foundation today but i like to put that on regardless because i feel like it makes the creases under my eye um like it fills them in and the, it doesn't make my concealer crease as much now generally these are the two concealers that i use um like on the day-to-day -day basis today it's the weekend so i'm gonna use my lc concealer this is one of my favorite concealers i actually also even use their foundation but i'm not gonna be doing foundation today because honestly i've grown to love the way my skin looks um with just a little bit of concealer and right now my eyelashes are looking really really crazy because i don't even bring a mirror because um I'm actually going to give my eyes a rest, so I'm letting them fall out a little bit more, and then I'm just going to take them off with the remover, but they still look semi-decent, so, and this is my quick little, and I'm probably going to take longer to do my makeup just because I'm talking to you guys, and I'm not a good, like, multitasker when it comes to doing makeup and talking, I've noticed that, and then I'm just going to use a brush today. So going back, like, I didn't want to go back to work, but you know what? I forcefully have to for those 12 weeks. So within these 12 weeks, I need to get it together with being more consistent with you guys. I love making these videos, and I just took this week off so I can see how it would be, like, returning back to work. And I honestly don't want to, like, mentally drain myself um, too soon, you know? So I didn't want to put too many things on my plate. And yeah, so I need to get it together, start posting more content. I will eventually want to do this with you guys um, because I love it. Like I love just being able to interact. And I know so many of you guys are new here on my channel because of my pregnancy, because of my book, Cornea Uterus video. Like, let me tell you guys, I've had so many of you reach out to me and that just warms my heart because I know that the information that I'm giving out is was actually useful to you guys and it's giving you guys hope because either you guys are finding out you're pregnant or you miscarried and think you're not gonna have a baby again just like I did and let me tell you yes yes you are going to baby dust to all of you guys blessings to all of you guys I know it, it's gonna get better trust me it's gonna get better I know it's so hard to believe that when you're in that place in time but it's gonna get better you're gonna have your little one running around driving you crazy giving you sleepless nights but you know what it's all, all worth it i believe she's gonna be six months already six months ladies like where did time go like it's so crazy but yes i just wanted to chit chat with you guys how has life been treating you for those of you who are pregnant how's your pregnancy going how many months are you like I'm so excited like when you guys message me and you guys tell me you guys are pregnant like it makes me so happy like I want to know how's it going um is your pregnancy treating you well because I know during the first trimester we're all extremely tired and during the second trimester that's when I had all the energy it was all the good vibes so let me know how's it going for you next I'm gonna go in well right now I just did I didn't even tell you guys I did the Stay Matte Powder Duo. It's this one. And I think I'm telling you a little bit more. It's just to set the little bit of concealer that I put on my face. <sighs> you guys, I'm just like trying to hurry up because it's already like almost 4 o'clock. And you guys know that this sun goes down way too fast. And I really want to get those pictures for Angelique before the sun goes down. So, yeah, I'm like, I got all caught up in like talking about everything that I forgot what else I was going to tell you guys. But I honestly feel like being a working first time mom is 
it's kind of hard not because and you know what i don't want to say it's hard because i'm blessed that i can be working from home and my baby still be here but you guys like okay i work on the phone you cannot have a crying or laughing baby in the background and taking like important calls you know like that's it's crazy luckily peter was um home early or one of the days he didn't have work so he was able to take care of her but i'm still breastfeeding and if she needs to take a nap she needs the boob to soothe herself which i know i need to like get on that but you know what she's only a baby for so long and i'm gonna do whatever she needs to be happy and uh you know be content because i'm not gonna be doing this forever you know and then yesterday i also got my nails done how cute i really really like my nails they're so so pretty shout out to my girl Ulala nails i've tagged her on my instagram if you guys have not seen i'll tag her um down below so you guys can check her out she's in the san fernando valley area if you guys are local and let me actually put a, just a little bit of translucent powder on my under eyes. <laughs> Peter's like with the baby while I'm getting ready. And it's so funny because I can hear her cracking up. She's, I feel like in the beginning, she was like, ah, mom, ah, mom. And now I feel like she's starting, barely starting to want to be like a daddy's girl but it's so hilarious and then she's also starting to um she's also starting to like laugh a lot and she laughs a lot with bonita like bonita could just be walking by and then she, like it'll catch angelique's eyes and she'll start cracking up it's the cutest thing ever um but bonita is still like mm, like literally like like that to angelique she's still not happy but i feel like once angelique starts crawling or like even walking she's gonna budge and be like i love you too angelique which i hope so but she's still like the other day i was sitting on the floor with the baby and obviously bonita was around me and i was playing with bonita just because i want the i wanted bonita around because the baby wanted to kind of play with her and you guys, I, f I didn't even bring a mirror. I'm looking directly at the camera. I don't even know if I'm like putting too much or not blending enough. I'm telling you guys, this is just like my errands makeup. And then I'll, even with the same brush, I'll just add a little tiny bit of highlight. And it's like from this Milani thing. It's three of them. I've, I love that I got it at Target. I've never been like a big makeup person, but you know what? I do what I can. And then I always do my eyebrows last. You guys, I'm gonna need a, a mirror for this. Okay, I just did my eyebrows. They look a little thick or whatever, but you know what? I feel like I, I didn't really outline them. That's honestly how my eyebrows are. I just filled them in a little bit too much, I think, but let me just go ahead and fix my hair a little bit yesterday was hair wash day so and i straightened it right after because honestly last week i was like not depressed of like going back to work or whatever but i was just like anxious and i had a lot of anxiety girl like my eye this eye has been twitching for like the past almost two months because as soon as it hit january 1st i was like this year this year in february i'm gonna start work again and i'm just like like was not happy about it so my eye has been twitching i've been i even bought let me show you guys and i've been showing you guys on instagram too i bought this from uh dr juan from univision um he has a his brand is called santo remedio this is it has better mood better you have a sip of ashwagandha ashwagandha i don't know how to say it but it's like that stress reliever um natural something and it has magnesium and flower botanicals so i've also been working out so the magnesium in this has been helping the recovery in my muscles um so for me not to feel so sore and i have noticed that like the eye twitching has gone down a lot i already went to the doctor got that checked out they're like you're you're just stressed out you just need to relax and i'm like okay well good to know you know um but 
yeah that's what i've been drinking it's one scoop in water i need to have mine today i haven't had it i have the the big starbucks cup i drink that um in the day and then i'll just fill it up with water um but i left it here and here's my office as well so I, I left it in here and i forgot and i'm glad i came up here to film because i also have my vitamins up here to take them throughout the week so i don't forget and i just took them right now so i don't forget today since i usually don't come in the office if i don't have to and then for my makeup you guys this is literally it like i just i just needed like a little oomph to get out and stop looking crazy and i'm telling you my eyebrows are looking my eyebrows my eyelashes are looking crazy because i'm letting them especially this eye because i'm letting them fall out i'm gonna give them a little break and i'll just wear strip lashes for a bit honestly i'll probably be a week or two and then i'll get them redone because um getting my eyelashes done is one of the things that keeps me feeling like cute and without having to do too much and then also where i was going with the whole hair wash day so this week um when i washed my hair i didn't um style it so it was like all frizzy and i was looking like a lion when i woke up and it was just not cute and then my eyelashes were looking all crazy so everything combined made me feel like eh. so yesterday i washed my hair i let it air dry and then um I straightened it and I was like, okay, I'm not gonna not style it because then I, it makes me feel off. It throws me off. So um, I fixed it. I did my hair and then I do have curtain bangs, but honestly, I don't. I don't really like. It feels like I have freaking like ears, like hanging ears, and I I don't really like them. Even if I style them with a the blow dryer and everything, like I just don't feel like like they look good so i've been parting it through the side and i've actually been digging it it makes my face look slimmer because i have a uh, big cheeks and then even if i put it up in a ponytail like i have really liked how that looks um but i'm gonna leave my hair down since it's freshly washed it's still clean and it's already straightened so i'm just gonna put it up behind my ears and then just go about my day and then i also wanted to share you guys this bracelet it is so cute let me put it on so you guys can see and it says with god all things are possible yeah it says with god all things are possible the inspiration co company sent it to me i'll leave a link down below um so you guys can shop yours i really like it it's rose gold they have different um um stones and i really you know at first i was like okay it's like just like little regular bead bracelet but no like the quality is really really nice like it's really really nice i really like this they have a lot of different saints it's actually a very cute gift let's say for mother's day father's day like a very like emotional or sentimental gift that i'm probably gonna stock up and get some for like mother's day or since it's all, it already passed valentine's day but or even like um easter is coming up that i think that would be like a nice little easter gift because they, they have a lot of different codes and and there's these couple ones that i like that are in spanish so i can give like to my mom or to my mother-in-law or you know like that and people that i know will wear them so i thought that was was so cute but you guys i think that's it like i literally did my makeup super fast i have stuff that i need to get doing and i keep looking down because my phone keeps going off but i feel like this was today all over the place but it was like a little chit chat get ready with me um type of thing but i hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day and thank you guys so much for chilling with me chit chatting with me i know it was just like crazy i was talking about everything and anything but you guys are my amigas my bonitas and i feel like i can talk to you guys about anything because a lot of you guys can relate so if you guys related to anything i talked about today go ahead and comment down below i respond to all um most if not all of my comments um so let's have a conversation or take it up to the dms on instagram at styles by miss ale you guys already know so definitely have a great rest of your day and thank you guys so much for watching bye